Good morning. Good, Good morning. to have you here. Nice honey. to see you. Nice to see you. Well, uh, this month is Alzheimer's and Brain Awareness Month, a reminder that more than 5 million Americans suffer from this devastating disease. And now researchers say they need your help more than ever because with your help, they figure they can prevent it. At 70 years old, Blanca Pereira is healthy and active. But it was at this age that her mother was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease, and Blanca fears she may be next. You were already worried about yes. it, thinking yes. like, I don't want to end up like my mother. Especially that it runs in the female side of her family. So I was afraid, and now I'm not. Blanca is one of hundreds of people at risk for Alzheimer's, now involved in a trial of a new drug that for the first time may slow or reverse the disease before symptoms occur. We've got 65 sites. In US Harvard Canada neurologist and Dr. Risa Sperling is the lead researcher. And you believe and others believe it's going to be a game changer. Why? We're really trying to detect Alzheimer's disease before symptoms and try to prevent people from developing the devastating memory loss. Here's how it works. Alzheimer's is associated with heavy buildup in the brain of a protein called amyloid, seen here in orange and pink. It's linked to cognitive decline and memory loss. The A4 drug, administered once a month, is designed to stop amyloid buildup in right, patients like Blanca, whose brains show early warning signs. You can see these areas in orange and pink here that are building up amyloid in exactly the same brain regions that you see at the stage of Alzheimer's disease dementia. But these people are still healthy, and our job is to try to prevent them from progressing over to this stage. The three-and-a-half-year double-blind study done here at Keck USC Medical Center and dozens of others will monitor patients' cognitive skills and brains to see if those on the drug do better than those on a placebo. You're looking for about another 400 people people to sign up and you want more women uh, than men. Why? Women are more likely to be affected by Alzheimer's disease, almost twice as likely because they live longer, but also they have an increased risk due to interactions with genetics and biologic factors. We want to help people live their lives with dignity and end their lives ballroom dancing instead of in nursing homes. But there may be things you can do now. Growing research suggests exercise, even breaking a sweat three times a week, can boost your brain. So can what you eat. Your food choices are fundamentally important in choosing your brain's destiny. Neurologist and best-selling author Dr. David Perlmutter says a diet high in sugar and carbs, the kind Americans love, can lead to inflammation and the production of free radicals that may cause brain deterioration. To protect the brain, he says choose foods high in prebiotic fiber, antioxidants, and good fats. It is never too late to change your diet and begin some aerobic exercise. Research demonstrates that even in our 70s, even in our 80s, we have the ability to increase the growth of new brain cells. While lifestyle changes can help, experts say they are not an Alzheimer's cure. Doctors hope more people like Blanca volunteer for clinical trials so science can get closer to solving this devastating disease. I want to make a difference for myself, for my kids, and uh, for anybody that has this awful illness. And she is. Well, researchers say they need the public's help in volunteering for these studies. They're conducted at medical centers all across the country. And to find out how you can join one, including the A4 study, which is still looking for hundreds of participants, go to today.com and enroll or find out how you can enroll. This is a subject, obviously, you've looked at a lot. And it's yeah. fascinating. You were telling me that 30-year-olds and 40-year-olds are, are, are becoming very interested in how to prevent Well, they, they see what's happening to their parents. There are 10,000 baby boomers turning 65 every day. And so their children are very interested in nutrition, in exercise. But all these researchers say, look, it, it's great to have a brain-healthy diet. It's really important to exercise. But we need people to join these trials if we really want to figure out how to stop this. Absolutely. Maria, yeah. thank you. Thank Good you. to, nice see, to you. see you. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube. YouTube channel, subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives.